Welcome to Only 411 Destinations, the world's premier online portal for explorers and travelers that want the most out of life. What good is living a life you've been given if all you do is stand in one place? Get out and explore. Only 411 is here to help. Better get to living and explore the world both near and afar. Only 411 provides you with the information to make your next trip a memorable adventure. Stay informed with Only 411. Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell and share this video with others that need the 411. Situated in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains and bordering the Pacific Northwest, Idaho has plenty to offer explorers and those that are looking to get away and connect with nature. Here is our list of the top 11 destinations in Idaho. Number 11, Sandpoint. Starting our list, the Sandpoint is located on the shores of Idaho's largest lake, 43 mile long Lake Pond Dore, and is surrounded by three major mountain ranges, the Cabinet, Selkirk, and Bitterroot Ranges. It may have less than 8,000 residents, but Sandpoint's major economic contributors include forest products, light manufacturing, tourism, recreation, and government services. It has an active retail sector, and is the home of the headquarters of utility aircraft maker Quest Aircraft and salad dressing manufacturer Lighthouse Foods. A few of the things Sandpoint offers its visitors, including boating and fishing. Bing Crosby's family once had a large stone home on the lakeshore, nearby the Schweitzer Mountain, Idaho's largest ski resort. No wonder this delightful place was named the most beautiful small town in 2011. Number 10. McCall McCall is a mountain town and favorite with familiar Idaho visitors. It is a resort town on the western edge of Valley County, Idaho, United States. Termed after its founder, Tom McCall, it is situated on the southern shore of Payette Lake nearby the center of Payette National Forest. This place is all about the water. It sits on the coast of Payette Lake and boasts a high average of snowfall in the state. Kayakers, boaters, stand-up paddleboarders, and swimmers are all drawn here to explore the brilliant Blue Glacial Lake. The river offers something more peaceful, float trips for families with kids to challenging sections with Class 4 and 5 rapids. In addition to water sports, huckleberry picking and hiking are most favored activities, and many arrive to attend music and arts festivals. In the winter, Brundage Mountain opens up its famous ski lift, and visitors can also cross-country ski into a yurt or go snowmobiling. The town is possibly most famous for its winter festival, a 10-day festival held in late January featuring life-size ice sculptures, fireworks, live music, a beer garden, and a Mardi Gras parade. Number 9. Stanley A little tiny town of Stanley has just a few thousand people. Still. Surprisingly, you'll find a wealth of accommodation choices and more than a few restaurants, along with incredibly awe-inspiring scenery. While the surrounding wilderness is the main draw, be sure to stop by one of the epic breakfasts served by Stanley Baking Company and enjoy dining along the river at Backcountry Bistro, specializing in fresh seafood and range meats. Stanley sits on the banks of the Salmon River, enveloped by Sawtooth and White Cloud mountain ranges making an ideal base for exploring the state's gorgeous backcountry. Enjoy fishing in the alpine lakes that are kept with various trout and hiking trails that offer everything from an easy day hike to multiple day journeys. Number 8. Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area, Riggins Hell's Canyon is the most profound water gorge in North America. It sits along the Idaho and Oregon border. And with the Snake River running through, it affords outstanding fishing and whitewater rafting opportunities. Hikers will find a wealth of hiking and backpacking trails to choose from, and along the way, mountain goats, bighorn sheep, or even black bears are sometimes spotted. History buffs may want to visit Kirkwood Historic Ranch, which offers a glimpse of ranch life in the 1930s and is accessible via a six-mile hike or by boat. Several jet boat and helicopter tours are available in the region as well. Number 7. Idaho Falls The falls at Idaho Falls may not be very deep, but they are plenty wide. The falls in downtown Idaho Falls only drop 22 feet, 7 meters, but they stretch 600 feet, 
800 meters across the Snake River. They're best viewed from the Snake River Greenbelt, a six-mile round trip over a paved path. The Greenbelt, the city's top attraction, is popular with bikers and strollers and those who climb down the rocks for a bit of fishing. The town itself is the best city in eastern Idaho. It is the economic, arts, and cultural center for the region. Number 6. Coeur d'Alene Just 30 miles east of Spokane, Washington, Coeur d'Alene rules the Idaho Panhandle. The largest city in northern Idaho sits on the shores of the scenic Lake Coeur d'Alene. If you're a golfer, you might want to play a few rounds at the Coeur d'Alene Resort course that's famous for its 14th hole, a green that sits on the lake, floating along on an underwater cable. Coeur d'Alene is one of the best places to visit in Idaho throughout the year, from its Christmas lights cruise on the lake to summer's Ironman competition. Number 5. Shoshone Falls Shoshone Falls in Twin Falls, Idaho the waterfalls on the Snake River drop 212 feet, 65 meters. Niagara only falls 167 feet, 51 meters. Still, Shoshone Falls are sometimes called the Niagara of the West. The falls were an important fishing and trading spot for Native Americans, including the Shoshone for which they are named. The best place to view the falls is the city park with swimming, picnic, and play areas, hiking trails, and a boat ramp. Number 4. Craters of the Moon National Monument Craters of the Moon National Monument is an eerie place in southern Idaho. The lava formations make it appear lonely. It is one of the best preserved basalt flood areas in the lower 48 states. Thought to resemble the moon's surface, NASA astronauts trained at the lava field as they prepared for their moon landing. Once there, they revealed the moon was different from the craters of the moon. Water is also essential in the summer if you plan to explore the lava caves. The Oregon Trail skirted parts of the monument. If you made it this far, make sure to stick around to the end of this video and hit that like button. Let's get started on our next destination. Number 3. Sun Valley Sun Valley is Idaho's premier ski and summer holiday resort, with many celebrities owning homes in the area. Located in central Idaho, Sun Valley is nestled between mountains that provide great skiing, ice skating, snowboarding in the winter, golf, horseback riding, hiking, and fly fishing in the summer. It is a year-round family tourist destination. Sun Valley has hosted World Cup ski races, while Olympic ice skater Sonia Henney filmed Sun Valley here. Noted writer Ernest Hemingway wrote For Whom the Bell Tolls Here. Number 2. Boise Located in southwest Idaho, Boise is the state's largest city and capital. Part of Idaho's Treasure Valley, Boise was a stop along the Oregon Trail. The city's 8th street through downtown is now a pedestrian zone. It's here you'll find the Basque Block, where you can learn about Boise Basque heritage. Boise's north end has older homes and tree-lined streets. The American Planning Association named it one of America's 10 great neighborhoods in 2008. If you're a jazz fan, we would suggest you not miss the annual Gene Harris Jazz Festival. Number 1. Yellowstone National Park Ranking in on our number one position, America's most loved park, Yellowstone, is America's first national park and the first national park in the world. Within Yellowstone's 2.2 million acres, visitors have incredible opportunities to spot wildlife in an intact ecosystem. Discover geothermal areas that contain about half the world's active geysers and view geological wonders like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River. Buffalo rule here, so don't be surprised if you get stuck in traffic caused by a buffalo strolling down the road. Remember, these animals are wild, so keep your distance and stay safe on your visit. There are also other animals in different months. The best months to visit Yellowstone are April, September, and October. Off-season months provide more chances to catch a glimpse at local wildlife and enjoy thinner crowds. Bears emerge from hibernation between March and April. Migrating birds arrive just before May, and the elk runs begin mid-September. It's also an excellent place to see wild animals in their native habitat. Yellowstone is located mainly in Wyoming. Only 1% of the park is in Idaho. Are you going to visit any of these places, or have you already made them a destination? 
Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you liked our list of the top 11 destinations, then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to only 411 destinations, and ring that bell icon so you can get notified next time. Bye.